Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you are getting a little bit of the sun that we have got in Sheffield. It's literally just got brighter as I said that. I am so happy to have a little bit of sunshine. The storms this week have been driving me wild. So I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm loving the sun. I'll try not to go into the actual bright sunlight so that you can still see my face um but yeah i'm feeling really really positive um and i wanted to hop on to make a little video um so for today's video um what i was thinking of doing was a little bit of a try on haul of some abbott line jewelry i don't know if you guys really know this about me but i am low-key obsessed with jewelry i always say to tom that i feel like i'm a bit of a magpie like as soon as something's a bit shiny i just gotta have it i just gotta hold it um so yeah i thought i would show you some of my favorite abbott lion jewelry pieces i definitely say they are one of my top three jewelry brands um and in the last year they've they've kind of taken over as number one i think I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed and they are basically the brand that has filled up the most of my jewellery box so I feel like it's only right that I talk you through some of the pieces I got and then maybe some of the pieces that I wish I'd got because there's quite a few that I haven't got that I do wish I had brought so yeah that's what I'm thinking of doing for this video i hope you guys are gonna enjoy it um and yeah i'll jump right into it but as always don't forget to um subscribe to the channel it literally does mean the absolute world um i literally can't stress that enough um and also comment down below comment your favorite jewelry pieces comment if you have got any specific pieces from Abbott Lion, what you like, what you don't like, are you a silver girly, are you a gold girly, I want to know, I feel like I've committed to silver but I chose silver very young and now I'm kind of committed to silver and I'm hoping it is the right shade for me, so let me know if you think that maybe silver was a mistake, I'm feeling like it isn't, I hope to god it isn't, but yeah, I definitely comment down below, I love to hear it and subscribe and like and all of that amazing stuff because it just literally makes my day i can't stress that enough so yeah let's get into this video so the first piece that i was going to tell you guys about is this necklace um so it's got the angel number that is linked to my birth date um you guys won't really know that about me but i'm absolutely obsessed with that sort of stuff um this is actually one of their number personalized ones i really wanted an angel like number necklace um but i couldn't really find one anywhere that i actually liked i'm kind of fussy about the font i didn't want anything too like funky if that makes sense um so i went for one that was a bit more classic that was personalized off the abbott line website and then i also got it so the chain it's a bit longer than the rest of my necklaces um and it's got this kind of like orb sort of design as well going along it which i really really like i think it just adds a little bit more texture so this uh, necklace is called the editorial date necklace um and it was 75 pounds i always try and find like a discount code whenever i buy something off of abbott lion um obviously i don't want to pay full price if i don't have to um but also i absolutely love the fact that they do the two for one offer um because it means i can get a few extra bits a little bit more bang for my book um which i which makes me really happy to be honest um but yeah this is the one i got so i got this for christmas from tom um and i just i literally wear it all the time i absolutely love having it on and um, I feel like it goes with a lot of outfits and to be honest if you see me in any kind of like really high neck jumpers and things like that I almost always have a necklace on underneath as well so I really like carrying this one with me like basically all the time so the next piece that I thought I would show you guys is some bracelets I have a ridiculous amount to be honest of Abbott Lyre Abbott Lyre bracelets um, and I'll start you off with one that was probably one of the 
first bracelets I actually ever got from them, which is, so it is this bangle. Um, it's got Nelly's name on it, separated by a few little diamantes. Um, I'm literally obsessed with this. I got it kind of when Nelly was kind of new and it was just a nice way to kind of commemorate, commemorate? Like she's not dead, uh, but kind of just to celebrate her, really. So it's got a little clasp, which you unlock to pop it on. And you just snap it shut and that's it on. It's just so, so beautiful. Um, I feel like it's got a little bit of a Cartier look about it. Um, and it's just, again, one of those ones that's so easy to style. Um, I think it looks really, really cute on its own, but to be honest, you could also layer it up. Um, I definitely went for a phase where I would layer up my bracelets absolutely loads, um, which I really enjoyed. So yeah, I would totally recommend that too. So this one's called the Custom Crystal Name Bangle and it was £89. Um, to be honest, they've got loads of new bangles now that I'm looking. That look stunning. Might have to look later. Um, but yeah, no, this one was one of the first ones I got and um, it actually, the clasp on it did break, but with Abbott Lion, you've got a, I think it's a two year guarantee. So I literally, this was the easiest thing I've ever done with like a company, just emailed them, sent them some pictures of how the bracelet had broken um, and they sent me a new one straight away. It was so easy. Um, yeah, I literally, literally couldn't recommend them more. It was just such a chill, easy process. I absolutely loved. Um, but yes, that's the little bangle. I'll show you the next bracelet I've got. So the next bracelet I got is one of their Clover designs. Looks a bit like that. Um, so I got it in silver and then I got it with kind of like the pearl essence. Um, kind of like clover design. You can have these ones personalized with kind of like a name on. I didn't really want that. I wanted to keep it quite minimalistic. Um, but you can definitely do that if that's your style. And then it's kind of got this like draw drawstring um, like way to shorten the bracelet. So oh, let me try and pop it on. Literally slip it on, pull the strings. Yeah, literally just like that. So, so pretty. Um, you literally just tighten it there. And yeah, I get again, this is one that I've literally worn to death. I've worn it so often. Um, I feel like this one and the bangle, to be honest, they just look absolutely stunning in summer. I feel like they're such an easy way to kind of like jazz up a really like simple outfit. I mean, to be honest, kind of like the one I've got on now, like it's literally a black top, but once you add on all the jewelry, I feel like it definitely looks a little bit more wow than it did before. Um, so yeah, I really recommend that one. Um, I got this one in summer, so I've literally, I literally wear all these pieces to death, to be honest. like. I'm so obsessed with them. So the price for the Clover bracelet ranges, um, but I think if you go for four Clovers um, and then you choose kind of like the pearl like cover, which is what I had, it comes to £84. Again, you can add then like initials onto each of the pearls if that's something that you like. Um, for me, I didn't really want to be bothered with that. Um, but yeah, that was kind of like the total for that one. Um, but I literally got so much wear out of it. Like now I've got it back on, I'm like, hmm, I might, I might keep this on for the rest of the day. I do really love this one. And again, this is such an easy one to layer up with loads of different bracelets. I think because it's kind of got that chunkier clover, you can add it to kind of like a chain bracelet or a bangle bracelet um, and they layer up quite nicely. So yeah, I do really, really recommend that one too. Along with all my bracelets, I've also got this one. Um, so this one I got from Tom. So it's just got the name Tommy written on it. Um, and this one is designed to match my angel number necklace. So again, it's got that kind of like that orbit um, detailing to it, which I really, really like. Um, so this one, again, is a little bracelet. Um, we got this as part of the offer, I think. So again, kind of like what I was saying about discount codes and things like that. Um, I think there was like a two for one discount code. So we got 
this necklace and then also the bracelet. Um, it is adjustable so you don't have to do any sort of measuring or anything like that. And I just find it quite cute. I love the fact that I can kind of like, I've got a piece of jewellery that symbolises like Nelly and my love for her, but then also I've got one that symbolises Tom and like, I think there's something so cute and wholesome about kind of like carrying that with me sort of thing. So this one's called the Signature Name Bracelet. And again, it comes to around £69. Um, and then you can personalise it with a name that's up to 12 characters long. You can also add charms and things like that um, for an additional cost. But yeah, we also actually with the Orbit chain, it did come to £75, but they do loads of different styles of chain as well. Um, I think I got Holly a choker from Abbott Line and that had like a really chunky um, chain, which was so nice. Like it was giving major Dior vibes, to be honest. It was so, so cool. Um, I was quite jealous and I know she said she got quite a few compliments from people at work with that one so I do recommend that too um but yeah I just absolutely love this one I feel like there's something so wholesome just about personalized jewelry and knowing that it's special to you it's just really cute um the other piece then it's just really basic I got this one just because um it it came as part of an offer Thing. and then I also I just thought it was really good for layering or for just for like simple detailing so it is literally just a little love heart on a chain um again it's just a little plain silver one um just a super cute super just easy to style um and to be honest it came cheaper with the order I think it like with the order that I brought that day it was literally five pound um, let me get the official price up for you guys. Yeah, so it's normally £39, but I'm pretty sure I got it for something silly like £10 or £5 because of what other stuff I was ordering. So I added that onto the collection um, and I just think it is literally beautiful. Like, I'm so obsessed with it. I just think it's so simple and especially with things like Valentine's Day coming up, it's just a nice thing to add to an outfit. And I think a lot of like Abbott Lyons stuff, like things like these bracelets, you can also wear like as an anklet so that you can get kind of like maximum use out of it. So I feel like there's loads of ways to style a lot of this jewelry in winter, but then also in summer as well. Um, and I'm pretty sure a lot of their stuff is tarnish free. So you can wear it in the pool, in water, that sort of thing. And you don't have to freak out too much. I do still freak out. I just like to keep my stuff really safe. Um, but you have the opportunity to do that if you so wish. The final necklace then I was gonna show you guys is this is literally, it's so wholesome to me. It's got so much sentimental meaning. Um, it is the first ever necklace I got from Abbott Lion. Um, it is the personalized one. It's just got a few personalized, um, what are they called? I wanna say gems, but it's not gems, uh, charms basically. So it has, let me see if I can show it on the camera. It's got an S, which is obviously for saffron. It's got a little paw print, which is for Nelly. And then it's got a little T, which is for Tom. Um, yeah, this was literally the first necklace I got. It's so, so sweet. Um, this would have been literally like two years old now, this necklace, and it looks so fresh. It's still so silver, which is so important to me. Um, and I actually ordered this in quite a small size because I wanted it to kind of sit like quite high up on my neck. Um, which it has done perfectly. I did kind of get these two so that they could kind of like be layered with each other, which to be honest, doesn't look too bad. Um, it like doesn't look too bad. Um, but yeah, I just, it literally just holds so much sentimental value. I'd wear this every single day. Um, it's just so, so wholesome to me. And I think that is literally like, for me, that's why I like jewelry is the fact that it does have that meaning behind it. Like it isn't just a thing. I don't know, I just, it just feels like important. I don't know. So it was actually from the Stacey Solomon range. 
um, and it is called the Charm Builder Necklace, and I got it in silver. Um, so you choose your chain. I went for a, uh, a fine chain because again, I just like things really dainty. And then I also went for the shortest chain length, which was a 14 to 16 inch. Then I chose my charms. Um, the charms do have an extra cost. They're kind of like, I think I picked quite a few of the cheaper ones to be honest. Let me see if I can find roughly what mine were. Yeah, so I think the paw print one was £7.50 and then I also picked out some initials which were £5 each. Um, so yeah, no, I think that was definitely, I think it's like one of the most sentimental pieces I own, to be honest. Um, it just kind of takes me back to that time when Nelly was like a little puppy and I don't know, it was just, it was like a good time and it just makes me feel so like wholesome that like I've got this piece of jewellery that just brings all of that together and makes me feel so connected to that, like I just absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, okay guys, well that brings us to the end of this video. I know it was quite a short one, a bit, <laughs> a bit quick, fast paced. Um, but I just wanted to hop on, but really just to give you guys a bit of a video, to be honest. Um, my week has been pretty intense, um, and I've just had a lot on my plate. So I was keen to make sure that you guys got a good video, um, but also I had to kind of work with what I'd got in. Um, so yeah, hopefully this has given you some ideas. I'd love to know about your own jewellery collection. What sort of pieces do you own? Um, what are your go-tos? I feel like on my radar next time it's going to be rings. I would also really like a nice watch, but I've just got an Apple Watch for Christmas. So I'm thinking of ordering some stuff off Coconut Lane. Um, to try and make the Apple Watch look a bit more glitzy. That's what I'm thinking. If you guys have any experience with that, do comment down below because I'd love to know. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll bring you guys along for that too and do a little unboxing. Um, but yeah, I feel like a watch is on my radar and then I'd also like to get more rings maybe? Maybe? I do love, I feel like they do like a chunky ring which I do really like the look of. Um, I feel like I wear so much more jewellery when summer comes around. I think it's something about knitwear, you just don't wear as much jewellery with it. So as soon as like the summer dresses are out, it's like, get me the jewellery, I need it now. Um, but yeah, maybe that's just me, I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Um, but thank you so much for spending your little bit of day with me today. I hope you guys have the most amazing week going forward and I can't wait to see you next time. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. It literally does mean the world. I feel like a broken record saying it, but it's true. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye guys. Don't know if you know this too.